Hey everybody, JC here with another T&I toy review and today we're taking a look at the new DC Collectibles DC Comics Super Villains Black Adam figure from the New 52 line. Um, the figure comes packaged in the standard DC Collectibles packaging um, black trim uh, with goldish yellow coloring trim to match the character uh, basically the black and gold from the character's costume is what they've done the packaging in. Um, you've got the window box packaging um, showing the figure off so you get a pretty good look at what you're getting inside. Um, down at the bottom you have the name of the figure um, and then on the back or actually on the side you have a picture of the figure um, along with the name of the sculptor. Uh, this figure was sculpted by uh, Phil Ramirez and he measures about 6.75 inches tall. Then on the other side you have a blackened in uh, picture of the character. And then on the back you have a thumbnail image at the top of the figure. Then a brief bio about him. Uh, basically saying how the figure is based on his appearance in the, the Shazam bonus story in the Justice League comics. Um, for the new 52 storyline. And then underneath that you have a picture of other figures available in the line the New 52 Joker and Captain Cold. And then underneath that you have a picture of the Black Adam figure standing off against the upcoming uh, New 52 Shazam figure from DC Collector. Okay so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Um, basic figure, uh, some nice sculpting details especially on the cape. Um, I like how they've sculpted in like the tattered look at the bottom and you've got some like rips in it which look good so it gives you that really worn out look like you see in the comic books which I think is really nice. Uh, the cape uh, has a second layer which really isn't detachable or anything um, and then you've got some gold trim at the bottom of it and then again another hole up here kind of towards the top to show where and then the hood is sculpted on there so you can't like put it on the figure's head or anything but, and they've sculpted it so it's basically, he's not wearing the hood, which I like. I don't really like on the Shazam figure how it looks like they're going to be sculpting it with the hood on. Um, he's got some nice detailing on the face sculpt. Um, he's, he's got, basically he's gritting his teeth. He's got some kind of, he's got some reddish, like, tones around his eyes and teeth. Kind of, I guess, showing energy pouring out. And then on his chest he's got the lightning bolt uh, with some black to kind of give it that, that power rippling effect. He's got some sculpting on the costume, some line sculpting to give it extra detail. So all in all, good job with the sculpting. Nice paint job. Um, black and golds basically. You know, the, the cape is a soft leather and they've made it so again it looks very worn the material they use looks very worn which is nice now one thing I will say is I don't like how they've kind of sculpted so the figure is basically looking down uh, there's really no neck articulation and we'll go over articulation here in a minute but there's really no neck articulation so you can't like have him look up or anything so he's always looking down which I don't really like um, he's got one hand uh, sculpted in a closed fist for punching and then another in an open so he can like grab his opponent's neck or something. Uh, he's got some nice vein work sculpted on the hands. So all in all, nice job with the sculpt. I just don't like how they've made it sculpted him so he's kind of looking down all the time. Okay, so as I mentioned before, the figure stands about 6.75 inches tall. So he's a pretty good scale. He's just a little bit uh, shorter than the new 52 Superman. So for articulation, um, again he has, he has no, other than looking left and right, he has no up or down movement. So the head is stuck in this kind of downward looking pose. Um, standard ball hinge joints at the shoulders. Now. His movements are restricted a little bit by the cape. 
because the cape has less flexibility up here around the shoulders. So you can get some good, you know, rotation movement and certainly forward and stuff, but you can't really put the arms too far back because of the cape. Um, he's got single jointed elbow and then he's got swivels at the wrist but no hinges or anything. No midsection articulation at all, not even a twist or anything. Um, legs are standard T crotch so no splits or anything. He can move his legs forward pretty good. Uh, again, well, actually, the cape really doesn't prohibit him from putting his legs back any, so he's got good forward and, and backwards movement at the legs. Um, single hinge knees, and then no ankle articulation at all. So like with most of the DC collectible figures, um, the articulation is fairly limited on the, on these figures. So that about wraps up my review. Overall, um, a decent looking figure. I definitely kind of feel like he has this almost Dracula kind of vibe to him. I almost see more of a Dracula when I look at him, especially at the head sculpt. I don't know if it's the slick back hair and just the gritting teeth or whatever. But it definitely has like that Dracula vibe. Maybe the tattered cape as well. Um, but still, pretty good looking figure overall. Um, my main complaint about it is just the way they've sculpted the head so he's always having to look down um, is kind of inconvenient. Uh, of course, as always, you know, added articulation would be nice, especially like with the neck. Um, maybe some some ankle joints and some type of midsection joint would certainly be nice. Hopefully we'll start seeing more of that in upcoming uh, releases, like with the Crime Syndicate and everything. Um, which, of course, if you're reading the comics, Black Adam right now is actually currently taking on Ultraman and in, from the crime syndicate in the Justice League comics, so you know it'd be good to get some good fight poses between them with your figures when they're both released. But again, this is a fairly decent looking figure. Should make a nice addition to your supervillains, uh, New Fifty Two supervillains um, collection, and will go good hopefully with the upcoming Shazam release. So that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll check you later.